Excellent. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Stephen Bai. Um, thanks, uh, Matt, for helping you set up here. Um, I'm the president and CEO of Ooklo, and I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to come and talk to you today. I've only got 10 minutes, um, but many of you are familiar with Ekahau, and Ekahau is a great product, and we have a great team here uh, supporting this event. And this is the first time I've come to this event. I love Phoenix. I love Arizona. I'm um, looking forward to perhaps coming here next year and uh, giving you a, a deeper dive presentation. But I do want to talk about what we've done with Ekahau because we've made a lot of changes and I've been behind those changes. Um, I was brought in by Ziff Davis about a year ago. Uh, we had acquired about nine different companies over 10 years. Um, they were not really fully integrated into Ookla. And we're in the process of integrating those companies into Ookla. And our mission at Ookla is to provide better connectivity for everybody. But what we're about is providing better insights, building better networks, and ultimately delivering better customer experiences. And so what we're doing is combining these companies. Ekahau is one of them, one of the nine that we acquired, and we're putting them together, and we're integrating the data across each of those platforms. So with that, we have four brands that are rolling in underneath Ookla. There are four product categories. The one that you're most familiar with is Ekahau. We're going to continue to invest in that platform. We continue to grow that platform and make it a better product and better service. I made a lot of changes in the management team, and what we're doing there is shifting the business to be much more customer focused. Many of you are familiar with the product and where it came from and the history of the product. We are now in the process of transitioning the culture of the company to be very focused on our customers, on you, and building a better product that serves your needs as well as our customer needs. So that's the shift and that's the transition we're going through right now. So Ekahau is one part of our business. Root Metrics is another part of our business where we do extensive drive testing. We drive thousands of miles here in the US. We benchmark AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. We benchmark every part of that network, voice, video, and data. We also do it in the UK with the operators in the UK as well. We're actually expanding our drive testing capabilities because that's a really good measure of network performance. We do venue testing as well as um, actual drive testing on the roads. Uh, but we're collecting all that data and aggregating that data. It's an incredibly rich data set that gives us visibility into the quality of these networks in a way that's very, very hard for anybody else to get other than if you're actually operating the network. The other part of our business is Down Detector. Many people know Down Detector. It's actually been run as a separate part of the business. It gives us tremendous visibility into consumers' perception of networks. Um, a lot of Fortune 500 companies use this. In fact, I used to run a network, um, and it's interesting. Down Detector often gives you insights into what's going on in your network before you actually see it in your own network management system. And so it's a great platform, but it's a consumer sentiment set of data where consumers are seeing things or perceive issues within the network, but it's a massive data set. It's extraordinarily useful. Um, to date, has been very separate from everything else we're doing, but we're actually integrating that data into the other platforms. And the brand that we're well known for is Speedtest. You know, everybody uses Speedtest. That's a great platform, great tool. Um, billions and billions of data points that we collect through first party testing. But we also do a lot of background scanning. We actually collect a massive amount of Wi Fi usage data through Speedtest because many people are running Speedtest on Wi Fi, either in the enterprise or in the home. There's an incredibly rich data set that we gather, both out of the iOS platform as well as Android. Um, and to date, as I said, we bought all these companies. They were all generally separated. We weren't really integrating the data across these platforms. We're actually in the process of doing that now. So we're integrating the data we collect out of Speedtest. We actually have another platform that isn't out there branded where we collect a lot of data on about 600 million phones worldwide, where we're scanning and we're picking up data and usage there. Then we have the down detector data, we have the drive test data, and then obviously we have the Echo Wi-Fi data. So we're in the process of integrating that data set to inform and make the networks better. It's a unique and very, very deep data set that is unrivaled when you start combining it across each of the different platforms. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, Wi-Fi is, as you know, I think one of the most interesting ecosystems. I come out of the carrier world and I tell people this, and in fact, 2015 I did a deal when I was at Sprint when I was running the network there with Boingo. It was one of the first Wi-Fi roaming deals that a carrier had ever done in the world. And in 2015, we realized that Wi-Fi was an enormous part of the customer experience. So much usage is over Wi-Fi. And in fact, there's more usage over Wi-Fi in the US than there is across all three carrier networks combined. 
And I tell people that because the customer experience is very, very much influenced by their experience in the home, in the venue, in the stadium. And, and wireless is kind of filling in the, we could say, the layers between. And I called it the fourth layer of the network, and I won't go into why, but Wi-Fi is an important part of that experience. And so we are actually working with operators to improve the quality of that Wi-Fi experience because it impacts the customer's perception of their experience on a wireless network. It's very, very important. The other data point that I like to refer to is, it's actually also an interesting benchmark, especially with six gigahertz, there is more spectrum on Wi-Fi and more customers using Wi-Fi than any carrier has spectrum access today. So when you look at the amount of, just even the spectral efficiency and the amount of data you can move through Wi-Fi, it's significant compared to what you can even support in a wireless network, even with the spectrum they have. And it's not enough to carry the amount of tonnage that customers expect on that network. And in fact, the other thing which is interesting as well, and we see this not just here in the US, but globally, is the growth of a Wi-Fi is in many cases double that that you see on the traditional license network. So it's continued to grow and it's gonna to continue to become more and more important, not just for the platforms that you are supporting, but also from a customer experience end to end through a network. So that's why it's important to us. But we're combining all this data and we're using that and we're gonna feed it into Echo as well, which will make that platform even more robust and stronger. So the way we look at it is, as I said, you know, we're combining all these data sets, we're integrating them, but it's really about providing better insights because if you're running a network, what you wanna know is how do I make those improvements? There's, you know, there's so many knobs I can dial, so many switches I can flip, but how do I optimize that? Where do I place my investment? How do I make sure it's the right thing to do that drives the right kind of experience for our customers? And so what we're doing is taking these insights, feeding that in to make the better networks, and you'll see here, this is a 3D rendering, but we can look at sort of in-building coverage at every different floor, and we can see the quality of that coverage. We can see whether it's a DAS, whether it's cellular, whether it's over Wi-Fi, and then how do you optimize that experience even in the buildings as we go. And at the end, it's about a better experience. So we're also doing uh, building solutions that integrate this real time. So how do I track what's going on within a venue, within a building, within an enterprise, and feeding that into the system to be able to constantly tune and optimize that network. Oftentimes, people look at design and say, okay, let's go build a network, one and done. It's designed, it's optimized. But that network is constantly evolving. It's constantly adjusting based on the load, the movement of people, the type of devices that are coming in. You've got to manage that through the life cycle of the network, and it's a constant optimization problem that you're trying to solve. And then the other thing is, as you see applications evolving, the demand on the network is even greater. So it's a, it's a life cycle management about how to optimize that experience going forward. So that's what we're about at Ookla. It's building better networks to deliver better customer experiences. The other thing which I'll say is, you know, and often people look at our organization, it's, we have over 600 people in our team right now, which is fantastic. We have a great team, we have a great environment, we're investing in the business. Um, right now, we're spending north of $50 million a year to continue to develop and enhance our technology, and we're gonna to continue to increase the level of investment we make in this business. But the message I wanna leave with you is, I made a lot of changes at Ekahau. I know there's a lot of speculation as to what happened. Um, I made those changes. We're putting the company on a different trajectory. We're moving to become very customer-focused and customer-centric in everything we do and I welcome feedback from anybody on what we need to do to make our product better. Our plan is to deliver a great product and a great customer experience, and we're gonna focus on that, and everything we're doing within the business is that with, with that as an outcome. So thank you, Keith, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm gonna be around this afternoon, happy to take any questions or chat with anybody about where we're going as a business, but I appreciate the support that we have from the team here for Ekahau, and we'll continue to deliver a better and better product as we go forward, so thank you very much.